Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Market Monitor. My name is Jonas Lannis, and I'm your host in this show. Together, we analyze a 10 cryptocurrency portfolio where we see how our trading engine performs. The trading engine is our trading strategy uh, in the platform, which we have connected to our account in Binance, and we do our trades there. Tradeflow uh, is a cryptocurrency, is a crypto company uh, built on the Binance Smart Chain uh, through purchasing our uh, Tiflo token on BitMart, B2B, and PancakeSwap. You can get access to our services. Our services are mainly our copy trading platform of Tiflo Bots. You can click here to learn more, or you can use on your own on a subscription on Mulder, our trading engine, which for me is the best option because you can do really magic things with this technology. And uh, of course, you can register in Binance and receive a 20% trading uh, fees discount. So let's uh, start. Let's continue, of course. You can find us on CoinMarketCap, where we share a uh, market monitor and all of our results uh, on a daily basis from Monday to Friday. You can also find us on Binance Feed. You can find, uh, find us on TradingView, other the name Tiflo Blockchain. And you can also uh, find us on Trading Live, where we da on a daily basis we post our uh, our work. Uh, we have 21 reports uh, so far uh, uh, on the platform. And let's start our journey in today's market. Again, we see the same thing. One, one trillion, seven billion is the market cap. <laughs> the volume is 28 billion. It's actually a money eater. The, the market is consolidating. BTC dominance is at 49.2%. Uh, and the fear grid index uh, is actually on uh, at 43. This is uh, very good. And uh, because no one is extreme, there is no extreme fear in the market, but then everyone is waiting for the market to move. And this move might be to the downside. Let's go to altcoin math to see what's going on here. We see that Maker is on the lead of the market uh, with 94.6%. Wow for Maker. And Cas KS is uh, following. Let's uh, continue to see. Check out here who is the biggest winner the last 24 hours. And of course, we see Terra Classic uh, raise from the dead 9.15%. Now, now almost 10%. Four chain room uh, at the second place, and no one else is uh, on the rise. Everyone else is uh, in the damage. Let's say. Let's see also the last seven days who is performing better. IMX is going very well, 30.47%. Tone coin is at 20.67%, which is very good, a very good performer. Top 10 for Tone coin, congrats. Ave is at uh, 43 place, uh, rising at 15%, and uh, Chainlink is also 7% up the last week. So let's go now to. Uh, Trading view to see what is going on. Bitcoin is still on a short position. We are waiting to see how this uh, move is going to play out. Uh, and let's hope that this is going to break even lower. So uh, we go into profit because right now we are almost uh, at a small percentage of profit. Not not much. Same hope. We want for Ethereum to break even lower. So we get a very good win and uh, rebalance our recent losses. Let's go to BNP. BNP, we have here a long position. We open the short position here and we close it here with a take profit. So BNP is one of our first uh, successful trades here. Let's move on with uh, XRP. XRP also gave us uh, a long trade here and close the position here with a short. So XRP gave us a good, uh, a small profit out of this uh, recent uh, long position. Let's go to Atom to see that Atom also closed with a loss here from the recent uh, long position that it opened. It's currently in the short position and with a small profit. Let's go to see what is Matic is, Matic is doing. Here we have the long uh, position open, short position, small loss. So we wait to see Matic go even lower. Let's go to Dogecoin. Dogecoin is close to the break even point, which is good. And Phantom, uh, unfortunately, printed this loss uh, from this point from long, printed this loss because we opened a short uh, here, a short position, so we have a small loss from Phantom. That is performing very well. We are still open position with good profit, which is going to actually uh, uh, break even and uh, the rest of the losses that we had. 
And Solana also scored very well. We have a very good uh, long position open still in uh, Solana. So uh, that is it for uh, today. We have two good uh, wins. We have uh, some some losses uh, across the portfolio. And we wait to see how this consolidation is going to play out. As you see, there is no obvious direction of the market yet. So we have to wait how this will play out. I have to thank you very much, everyone, for working market for for watching Market Monitor on a daily basis. You know, we do it with all, all of our heart, and it's something that we enjoy. Thank you very much for watching all this series of Market Monitor, and I'll see you next week. Take care, everybody.